<laughs> Welcome to a presentation of Chapter 1, Section 1 in McDougall Attell's 8th grade textbooks. Chapter 1, Section 1 is entitled Interpreting Graphs. We begin with two definitions. First is the definition of a bar graph. A bar graph is defined as a graph in which lengths of bars are used to represent and compare data in categories. A graph in which lengths of bars are used to represent and compare data in categories. Second definition is the definition of data. Information, facts, or numbers that describe something. Information, facts, or numbers that describe something. There are four properties of a good graph which I will need to see present in your homework tonight on quizzes and in TEF. Four properties of a good graph are a title, a legend, if it requires one, Labels and heat. That would go for any graph in any class. Now, I'm not going to be picky about neatness this evening. Okay? I'm not going to say to you, use a straight edge and draw everything perfectly because I want perfection. No. Okay? If your lines look like V's, though, okay, that, that's not considered neat. Okay? So you're not going to have to get out the straight edge and the ruler and be real precise. In a bar graph, all your bars don't have to be exactly like half an inch. Okay, I'm not going to be that. But they should look decent. If you can't draw something that looks at least decent, then go ahead and pull out the straight edge of the ruler to help you draw something that looks decent. Okay? A legend. A legend will only use a legend if you had something that actually required it. Like if you had a double bar graph and you were looking at two different pieces of data, that's when you put a legend in. We'll talk more about that when we get to bar graph. But very few of your graphs tonight will actually have legends. You might run across it if it was a, like a double bar graph, a double line graph, uh, a double stem and leaf plot. Okay. Those type of graphs would need a legend. Okay. Title, title, what you're going to put on your graph, and labels, of course. You should be labeling, as I didn't do here, but I will shortly, labeling what these axes mean. Questions so far? Yes, Victoria. It's a legend. A legend? A legend, like a legend on a map? Like uh, a social studies map okay. type thing? It's the same thing here, which just tells you what the different parts of the graph mean. All right, so let's take a look at example one. There are 170 active volcanoes in the U.S. And no, I don't really know what there are. That could be completely fake. I don't know. 30 in Mexico. And heard me. 20 in Canada, and 120 in Chile. Make a bar graph to represent this. There are 170 active volcanoes in the US, 30 in Mexico, 20 in Canada, and 120 in Chile. Make a bar 